so welcome back to the channel. Um, so as you saw in our little intro there, we've come to the third most popular tourist attraction <laughs> in France. It's Mont Saint Michel. You can see it just behind us. If I spin around, behind I us, in front of it. us, it's actually just here. It's quite foggy today. Um, so we've got about a 25, 30 minute walk, yeah. um, or 33 minutes to be precise, as per the board back there. And then we'll get to the Mont and head up and have a bit of an explore. Yes. And of course, take you on the journey. So as usual, consider subscribing, thumbs up, ring the bell, and check out our Instagram account as well. See what photographs we get while we're here today. And let's get exploring. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side by friends I need. Don't you tell me they are in town. I already know. Couple days ago. Hey, now that our names are written in stone. So that walk took us a lot less than 33 minutes. Yeah, I think it probably did. So I think we need to rewrite the sign that's uh, back at the entrance. Maybe like 31 or something. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just got to the foot of Mont Saint Michel, um, as you saw from the little footage there. And um, we're going to head up. We're not going to be going in the cathedral today. Abbey. 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 Um, purely because it's just so busy. Um, we're going to come back another time and go in the Abbey, maybe in the winter or something. But there's, there's so much to see on the, the Mont with the Abbey and without the Abbey. Um, so much of the town and the buildings and shops, restaurants and all that sort of thing. So we don't think we can put it all in one video. So we will be doing another video later in the year showing inside the Abbey. Um, but yeah, until then, we're gonna make our ascent. <laughs> so we'll take you on our trip as usual. Let's go. I would die if I saw you So we're just about to enter the village of Mont Saint Michel and obviously we're at sea level so apart from this bridge that we're walking over we're at zero meters above sea level. The very tippy top of the abbey measures at 157 meters above sea level that's right at the top of Archangel Saint Michael and the land is 92 so we've got to climb up to 92 meters above sea level and it's quite a steep walk. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in need, me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. So this tower just behind us is called Gabriel's Tower. It was built in the 16th century and it served as a mill and a lighthouse and you can still see mooring rings on it from where the old quay was. That's where you can moor up your horse. <laughs> and if you don't get the reference, check out last week's video. Link up here. <laughs> So this bay behind us is Mont Saint-Michel Bay, which takes its name from the Mont itself, not the other way around. It's got some of the highest tides in the whole of Europe, up to 10 metres. The bay goes out at low tide six miles, and it is known as rising at the speed of a galloping horse because it's so fast and dangerous. Loads of quicksand in the bay, so you can't, can't walk along it, otherwise you might die. It's a jolly outlook. <laughs> As usual I've got a bit of information about where we are today so this island is really small it's less than a kilometer squared which is about two-thirds of a mile squared it's 960 meters in circumference so it's really small 
and Mont Saint Michel was first founded in the year 708 by the Archbishop of Avranch, Saint Hubert. We went to Avranch. Oh no, it was ages ago. Now. And in 708, the Bishop of Avranch ordered 12 canons to come to this island and build a church here in honour of Archangel Saint Michael. Before that, it was historians think that this was a place of Druid worship in about the 5th century. They found what they think is evidence of it, but they're not quite sure. And obviously they can't dig down because of the abbey there now. Before the canons came here, this was known as Mont Tom, which in French literally translates to Grave Mountain. But because there were so many Vikings in the area, it's actually thought that it meant Tum, which is mound in Old English. So it's a history that dates back a very, very long way. When you're down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say. That's not okay. When you feel like you're fed up with heartbreak. century ramparts that were built here goes all the way around the island there is loads of information to tell you we don't want to bore you so I've written it all in a blog so check out the description if you are interested in history and want to know more about the Mont then check out the blog and we've got all the information there Saint-Michel was the only village in the whole of Normandy not to have been taken over by the English. We've walked down a walk of some of the ramparts, you can see why. It was very, very, very well fortified. So 
so as you can see that bridge is getting very very busy and during high season which it probably isn't far off it's still easter holidays mm. up to sixteen thousand people visit this tiny island so we're going to call it a day and try and find this river As you can see, it is so incredibly busy. We got here at what quarter past nine? Yeah, quarter past nine in the morning. It's what half past eleven now. Yes. And this is when people start visiting. Busiest times between eleven and three. If you are going to visit Mont Saint Michel, definitely come early morning. So we have just abandoned the car. <laughs> we haven't. Sort of abandoned at the side of the road. Um, about five minutes out from the car park to the Mont. So this should be the location for that monumental shot that everyone's seen of Mont Saint-Michel with the twisty river meandering down. Um, <laughs> it's, obviously it's quite a dry day today, so it might just be a twisty hole, but yeah. um, we'll try and get some photos. Uh, check out our Instagram account. They'll be on there and uh, see what we can see from here. So let's go and explore. Been feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go so We found the little squiggly rivery bit But it's not a river It hasn't rained here for about I don't know, 10 days or so And there's also lots of flies around And one's just gone in my eye So Matt's gonna try and take some photos of the squiggly bit. So I've got the fly out of my eye and Matt's just taking some photos. So you can see Mont Saint-Michel here, just over that way. Ooh, sorry, I'm not very good at the camera. You'll see Mont, Mont Dol and Tumblerain, which were the th one of the three islands that emerged from the bay um, during ancient times. And on Tumblerain, the little one, there was um, English people based there during the French Revolution. I said up at the top of the Mont that Mont Saint Michel was the only village in the whole of Normandy not to be taken over by the English, but they were just over there on the on the base of there for their of their army, trying not to be defeated. On the road, take it where I go. But I won't let the stormy seas throw me in open water. Let me have my peace. So as you saw, we found the monumental shot of um, Mont Saint-Michel. Saint I had to think for a minute. Um, hopefully I got some drone footage as well. So we will have put that in just prior to this little bit. So hopefully you got a good view of everything and it's a beautiful day. Mm. Um, we'll put in the description exactly how you get here because it is a little bit of a tricky one to work out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to be the end of our vlog this week. As I said, we'll be coming back to Mont Saint-Michel in the future. Yeah around the abbey and things like that but there's just so much to see in one one trip and it's just so so busy and because it's such an old place it's so narrow and it's sort of one-way traffic everywhere and i just don't think past 11 o'clock you just can't do it justice too many people too small a space <laughs> but if you want to know all about the history as i said i'll put it in the description box below i'll write a blog about it it's really interesting so have a look yeah so check that out um as always please consider subscribing uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video <laughs> and ring the little bell to notify you when our next video will be out, which will be next Friday. Yes. I'm not sure where we'll be yet, but it's always a <laughs> bit of an exciting trip for us as well as you guys. So until then, have a good week and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.